Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I got back from holidays two days ago and I decided to film a haul video because I got a couple of bits and I just wanted to share them with you in case you want to pick them up for yourself. So without making the video extremely long, let's get straight into it. So the first place I went into was H&M and as you can see, that's my bag. <laughs> and I only got one thing there just because I didn't want to go crazy because I was already going with a very full suitcase so I didn't have any space for like a ton of things but the biggest thing that I got and I didn't have I couldn't put it in my suitcase I had to wear it on the way back was this jumper it's basically a gray oversized jumper I got it in like extra large I believe yeah extra large because I wanted it to be like really snuggly for the plane and everything so that's what it looks like. It's basically just a grey jumper. It has a little pocket over here in the front and then it obviously has a hood and it says Harvard on it in like burgundy writing which I really really loved just because I'm obsessed with Gilmore Girls and they always talk about Harvard and everything. <laughs> so that is the reason that I got this jumper. But yeah I really really like it. It's super like snuggly. Hopefully it's going to still be like this when I put it in the wash. But I really liked it and it was 19 99 so 20 euro and I really like it and it was definitely worth it. And they had so many different jumpers there as well with like slogans and I wanted so many more but obviously I couldn't bring them with me in the suitcase. So I'm going to have to pop into my local H&M and check those out because I really really like this. And it's going to be perfect in like the trans transition weather when it's like not too warm not too cold and you just want to wear something snuggly so i'm really really happy with this and you'll definitely see me wearing this a lot i then went into zara and yes i did keep all these bags in the bottom of my suitcase to show them in the haul just because i don't know i wanted to show them in the bags <laughs> so i went into zara and i picked up two tops the first top I picked up was, no surprise, just because it's stripy. This is what it looks like. It's like, again, a really oversized top with a little pocket right here. And it has long, sleeved, long sleeves which were originally like tucked up, like rolled up, which looked really, really nice. So I'll probably be doing that as well. And then it has a v-neck. But the v-neck is actually really, really huge. I just realised. But I kind of really like that. And I got this in a medium, which is what I would usually get it in. But um, yeah, it is really oversized. And the v goes down quite, quite low. But I think it would be really nice with just leggings. Or some high-waisted jeans. Just to tuck this into the high-waisted jeans. So yeah. It's just a stripy top and this was 9 95 which is really, really good just for a simple top. And then another top, I was actually standing in the queue trying to pay for the stripy top and I seen this one and I was like, Aaron, go grab that. So I got my boyfriend to quickly run and get it for me and I didn't care what size it was in. I was just like, grab that one, just the first one. And he actually got it in the large, that was the only one left. But I don't mind again because it's like a little bit more oversized and I like that. So this is the top. Super simple again. It's just white and red stripes. But I really like this. I only have one other top that's red and white stripes. And I think it really suits me. I don't know. I just really like the pattern on it. And I tried this on with a denim skirt yesterday. And I think I'm going to wear this on Sunday with a denim skirt. And it looks really, really nice. So yeah, just a simple, normal, like, length um, red and white stripy top. And this one was 4 95 which is so, so good. It's something you'd literally pick up in pennies. And sometimes normal t-shirts like that in pennies can be, like, a 5 euro or something. So I was really happy with that. And Zara clothes are always, like, super good quality. I have so many t-shirts from Zara from years ago. And they're all, like, perfect condition still and I still keep wearing them so I went into Topshop I wasn't going to go in there but they were like I feel like they were getting rid of the Topshop in the shopping center because every single thing in the shop was on sale and there wasn't that many products like stock in the shop so everything was on sale and I had to pick these up so what I picked up was just some Joni jeans 
literally normal blue jeans. They're not ripped or anything like that. There's nothing, like, no details to them. They're just simple Joni jeans. And, yeah, I just really, really like these. And they're usually, like, 55 euro, I think. Then they were reduced to 50 and I got them for 35 which I was really happy with just because Joni jeans for 35 euro that's good going just because they're usually 55 so I was really happy with those and I got them because you can never have enough jeans and they usually stretch if you wear them for a really long time so I have a pair of Joni jeans that I can actually chuck out just because I have some new ones right here next I went into a little shop which is called Primore I want to say and it's just like a what would you call it? It's kind of like a boot or a super jug. So it has like cosmetics and like perfumes and just toiletries, everything like that. And I got one thing again. And what I got are the Real Techniques Miracle Blending Sponges. Just because I usually, I used to use these constantly. And then I got my Beauty Blender, which is kind of on its last legs now. So I wanted to pick up some sponges, so I just got two of these, and they were 14 99 so 15 euro for two of these, which is, I think, the same as it is in Boots, but I just wanted to pick them up, so I got them. I then went into a little jewellery shop, which is called this. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say this, so I'm just showing you to the camera. And I got two pairs of earrings. So you might know from my last video, I think I was wearing some hoop earrings and since then I've been obsessed with wearing them I literally wore them on holiday all the time and I really really like them but they're super old they're like I don't know like the the metal is like turning different colors and all it's disgusting because I had them for so long and they were only from pennies like a cheap pair for like two euro or something so I wanted to pick up some nice hoop earrings and these are the ones that I got they're silver and they're actual silver, which I was really happy with. So they won't be turning any weird colours anytime soon. And yeah, I just really like them. They're they're quite big, but they're actually the same size as the ones that I was wearing. But I really like them. They're super light. The other ones that I had, the gold ones, are quite heavy. So they were like weighing my ears down, which I really don't like. So I was looking for some really light silver hoop earrings and I found these which I'm so so like happy about and they were quite expensive for a pair of earrings they were $27.95 which is quite a lot for just a pair of hoop earrings but I definitely will get a lot of wear out of these and again they're just nice quality so I'm really excited to start wearing those and I also got another pair of like the from the silver brand which were $5.95 and I have them in my ear right now I don't know if you can see, but they're tiny, tiny, I have to, like, get closer. They're tiny little hoops, and I just put them in, in this ear, just because I like the way that looks. And then I just have one stud here, but I really like that, so I'm really happy with those two pairs. And again, those are, that was my cat. Those are silver, so I'm super happy with them. I then got two small things from this shop right here. It was in Porta Benus in... Marbella and it's literally just beside the beach if you're wondering. The shop kind of reminded me of Tiger in a way that it had like loads of little knickknacks and loads of like cute bits and it was just really really nice. I literally went to the whole shop but obviously I couldn't. So the first thing my boyfriend actually got me this and it's this little star keyring which is so cute. Look at it. It has just like colourful dots on it and then it says something on the back here in Spanish. I might have to actually put that into Google Translate because I haven't a clue what that means. So, um, yeah, I really, really like that. And then they also had a whole, like, wall of pins, which came like this. And you could have, like, exchanged them. You'd, like, you could have taken some out of, like, the little cardboard and put them on your cardboard. Because it was four pins for three euro, which is great. I've never seen pins so, like, what's it called? So cheap. Like, ever. You find pins on ASOS that are, like, 20 euro for one pin, which is ridiculous. I just don't understand. So, these are the pins that I got, and I'm super happy with them. So, there's a little cocktail one. There is a little cactus. A cat and this rainbow. 
which is so so cute and I can't wait to put these on like my denim jacket or something and basically rock them so I'm really happy with these and they're again super cheap and they had so many different pins literally so many different ones like so many planes and cars and everything like that so um I'm definitely going to be going back there if I go to Marbella again so yeah I really like that on the way back I went and bought a couple of things from World Duty Free and I mainly got like presents for my mom and like chocolate and things like that but the two things that I got for myself the first thing is the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Mimosa Outer Toilet I can't say that it's not toilet Marta it's like a perfume <laughs> Elizabeth Arden green tea and mimosa perfume and that's what it looks like it's nothing special it was literally on the 9.95 offer not 9 19.90 so it's 20 euro for the bottle and I really really like the scent of it it's nothing special it doesn't look fancy or anything it was only 20 euro but I just thought it would be such a nice perfume for every day and this is what it looks like it's in this yellow and pink bottle and you get 100 mils in this but it smells really nice it smells like floral and fresh and it has the green tea and the mimosa and I just really like the scent of it so that's what I'm wearing today and yeah I just thought it would be perfect like perfect scent for every day while we're still in the summer I'm not sure if I would wear this like in the winter just because it's like kind of like a fresh spring summery scent but I'm definitely going to be using this like next season as well so I just got one of these and the next thing I got was kind of like a little treat for myself even though I already treated myself with all these things but yeah I just had to get it I usually carry my Kate Spade purse with me everywhere, but most of the time, not most of the time, sometimes I need to just like take money out and put them in my bag because like there's no space in my bag for my Kate Spade purse. So I wanted a card holder and this is the card holder that I got. It's from Michael Kors and it looks like this. So it's basically black and it has a zip compartment at the top where you can like put your change in or your notes, basically your money. And then on the back, it comes with like a slot down here and here for your cards. And then it has this little chain thing that you can hold it by. And I really, really like this. I don't know anything from Michael Kors. I usually just, I just have like Kate Spade stuff, like my bag, my passport cover and my purse. Those are the only like designer things that I have. And yeah, I just wanted to add something little to my collection of things. And I just thought this was perfect. And yeah, I really, really liked it. It was 75 euro, which isn't that bad, but it is quite pricey just for a card holder. But I really like it and I know I'm going to be using this literally forever. And especially because it's black. Everything, like my bag is black, my, card, my passport cover is black. And... It will go with everything and anything so I'm really happy with this and I can't wait to start putting my things in this and start carrying it around with me. I also went into Sephora while I was in the shopping centre. They didn't have any bags so the lady just gave me one of these things. But um, I just got a couple of bits. So the first thing I got is something that I got at the till. I was just like, yeah, I'm getting one of those. So it's the Radiance Tony Moly I'm Real Tomato Mask Sheet. So this is what it looks like and it's basically a sheet mask for your face. And apparently it's for Radiance. So I'm really excited to give it a go. I love sheet masks. They're really, really nice. And I feel like they're more fun than actual like clay masks that you put on with your fingers. So I can't wait to give this a go. And I believe it was only... Yeah, it was 150, so it wasn't that bad. I then got a little Sephora liquid lipstick. It's called Cream Lip Stain or something like that. And it's in the in the shade 23 Copper Blush. So it just looks like this. It's a nude brownie kind of shade, which 
are the shades that I wear constantly. And then I also got two more things. So the first thing is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, which looks like this. I never owned anything from NARS. And this is the first thing that I have. I heard every, like loads of people talking about this. And I was excited to give it a go. So this is what I got. And I got it in the shade Guerland. Guerland in light 3. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I can't wait to give it a go. And the last thing is kind of like a splurge. Just because I really wanted something from Becca. I wanted the... Champagne pop, pop um, highlighter, but then I was I saw this that I have in my hand right now, and I was like, hmm, I think this is more of a value for money, <laughs> so I got this instead, and it is the Becca X Chrissy Tigan, I want to say Glow Face Palette. I'm not sure, if I'm if I read that name wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing names. But I think that's how you say it. And it's the palette that came out recently. I want to say this is the latest thing that came out. But I'm not really sure. And that's what it looks like. It is in such pretty packaging. It's basically rose gold. And it has like kind of marble effect on it. And this is what it looks like. When you open it. So it basically comes with... Oh. Basically comes with... Two highlighters, a blush and a contour shade. And I'm so happy to like have this. So the two highlighters are in rose gold and the other one is in beach nectar. And then the blush is in hibiscus bloom and the bronzer is Malibu Soleil. So I'm really happy about it. And this was 45 euro, which is a lot. But I think 40 euro, 40 euro is just the one highlighter from like the Champagne Pop or any other highlighter from Becca. So for five more euro, like I get a blush, an extra highlighter and a contour um, shade. So that's why I basically picked them up. And I have a lot of product to actually try out and see what it's like. So I'm really happy about that and I'm so excited to give it a go. I'm probably going to use it in a tutorial or something next time. The last but not least thing that I got is something that I actually got, that was the first thing I got whilst on holiday and I got it in Dublin airport and this is definitely the most expensive thing that I got on holidays and afterwards when I got it I was kind of like sad and happy at the same time. I was like oh my god I can't believe I spend that much money on this but I am really happy with it and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. So I got some Tom Ford sunglasses and these are the Tom Ford Samantha sunglasses and they basically come in this gorgeous huge box which I had to travel with which I wasn't very happy with but I really wanted the box I didn't want to leave it anywhere and then they come in this velvet sunglasses case and then inside are my sunglasses. I feel like some, some people are not going to like these, but I really love them. So that's what they look like. They're like cat eye shaped. And they have like mirrored lenses on them. Oh, I just love them so much. The lenses aren't that mirrored, but they are compared to... There's another pair of these and they have just like normal lenses. And you can see then that... They are kind of reflective. So they're basically like tortoiseshell sunglasses. And they have like gold detailing here. And then it says Tom Ford over there. And I really love the shape of them. Because again they go like this. And then they kind of cut off at the, at the bottom. And yeah I just really love them. And I know that I'm going to get so much wear of them. And it's this style is usually the style that I go with sunglasses. It's usually the shape that I go for. And I think it suits me the most. But um, my boyfriend wasn't like sure about them at the beginning. He was like, they're a bit out there, aren't they? And I was like, well, I don't know. I like them. So I did get them. And I also got this like cleaning stuff for them. 
but um, they were originally 235 euro, which is a lot, but I got them for 200, 200 or 215 in the end because it was like a um, discount when when you bought two pairs of sunglasses you got like some money off so my boyfriend got some sunglasses as well so that was our little treat not little big but I am really happy with them and I will be using them definitely not every day in case they got they get like ruined or something but I will get a lot of wear out of them all the boxes are like falling off my bed so I think it's time to end the video. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already because recently I lost like 500 subscribers which I'm not sure what that was about, like crazy. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.